going on YouTube? Pardon, the air is blowing extremely hard for some reason, and it's a little hot in my car. So, we're going to work through this. Our friends over at Hand Show have sent us a new item to go ahead and showcase. It is a new screen that integrates perfectly with a Tesla Model 3, Tesla Model Y. Fits right here, replaces this bar. As you can see, we have this other, I believe that's the 5.6 inch screen. Works well, you can see the car. Shows that my frunk is open. Um, if I open the door, it'll show the door is open. You know, it just it mimics what's already here pretty much, but it just has it right in front of you. Just a little bit of eye candy. But this one is a bit of a game changer. Uh, and the reason why is because it comes with a front camera as well that you can mount on the front. I was actually had my frunk open to go ahead and see how easy it was gonna be to pass through the firewall and get down here. Seems pretty easy, gotta cut a little hole in a grommet. Um, but you know, it seems like it's very doable. Not too much has to be removed to do so. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out today. Uh, first, let's see what else is in the box. We get a spudger, I believe that's what those technical items are called. Uh, what else do we have in here? Looks like we do have the unit itself. It seems to be pretty well in here. And it does come very well packed. Styrofoam as usual. Hand shows presentation is always amazing. Um, let's just hold it right up here and see the difference. We can do that. It's pretty much like the, eh, maybe another three inches larger. So this will work out pretty well. Even though I did have it backwards. Let's see it frontwards, huh? Yeah, it's gonna look good. All right, back to my install. We need to go ahead and go into the steering wheel and we need to drop it down all the way. Mine's already dropped down all the way and we need to make it come all the way out. So we have a lot of room to work with back here. We need to remove this whole piece uh, yours, if you don't have another on there, another uh, screen on there, it'll just be the OEM. It's pretty easy to remove. First time kind of sucks. You might feel like you're going to break it. You're not going to. Just try not to damage anything, especially the lower end over here, through here, trying to pry it. The top one, if you're just never going to put it back on, who kind of gives a shit? I mean, you're going to get rid of it. If you're gonna put it back on, you're like me, you like saving it, you don't wanna damage that either. But we wanna pop it off first. First, best thing to do is to remove this though, and it's really easy to do. So the first thing you do is you take your spudger and you put it like so right in here, get it in there, and just kind of pry and pop it right off. Super easy, throw it on the ground, you won't need it for a while. Go to the other side, do the same thing over there. Like stated, put your spudger in there, go ahead and Pry out, pop, and comes off. Throw on the ground, just like the other side. Now time to remove this. Ah, if you got one of these daily labs, video right above, you'll have to put that up there for now because you don't want to lose that. That's good stuff. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you just want to kind of pry up through here. Easy as that, it's off. Now we just gotta nicely come grab it. it. Takes two hands, pull up and out, kind of up and then out, and don't damage it. Put it somewhere safe. You're good to go. Pro tip: safe spot, back seat. Put it face down. Make it a little diagonal so you don't crash your door into it. And then go ahead and name what minor league baseball team that is. You'll learn 20 points right off the bat by doing that. Pro tip: All right, now we're back here, so we gotta pop these two little tabs off right there. Very easy to do, everybody knows how to do that. You take your spudger or whatnot, and you go ahead and you go in accordingly and you kind of just maneuver it like that. It'll pop the little piece out, the little piece right there. Go ahead and just pull it out, easy enough, you'll get it. Pro tip number two of this install is go to Amazon and grab you one of these, makes it easy pulling out these types of clips, which Tesla is notorious for using. Damn, my finger got jarred up, huh? Anyway, yeah, pro tip, I will link that below or and link it above if possible right here. And you can go ahead and grab this whole set. It'll be this, some spudgers, really good, really easy to use, and they're very inexpensive from Amazon. Definitely a good set of tools to have for doing anything on a Tesla. 
All right, so we have this little flap removed. Just kind of remember that this little vent looking thing kind of faces up, it folds over accordingly and that's how it'll go back in. If not, you could just pause and screenshot this and you'll know forever right on your phone. Um, but what we need to do is go ahead and take this whole other panel out now and um, make that happen. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. Looks like my first time I got a little scratched up here talking about that, huh? Eh, maybe not, maybe that's just a mark. But yeah, a little scratch, but in any case, went away. Uh, don't be like me. Use your spudger nicely, and I would work up from the back here, and go all the way up. But it sh mine should come out pretty easily. Yours will be a little tougher if it's your first time. Uh, let's see what happens. All right, so best way to do it is using this end of your spudger. Kind of creep in right here and turn and twist it up. And as you can see, no marks happen and pop this side off easily. So we're gonna do the other side right now, doing the same thing and get this thing off. All right, so we did go ahead and pop off the old one. We now are gonna have to replace this piece, which is an OEM piece, that little fabric, frab, uh, fabric, speak J, fabric piece, which is very easy to remove. You just go ahead and push those little tabs in. They pop right off align this accordingly with the the uh the piece right there as you can see kind of fits in a certain way very easy to do all right as prior i've already removed one to show what it looks like shows what it looks like i can't speak today we got three more to go and then we're going to drop down this panel uh take off this over here so we can run the wire correctly up through like we did last time also, there's a spot back here where we can get through the firewall, I believe, for the camera. So we're gonna try this all out. Let's go. All right, so we did remove this part over here. Very easy. And we did remove, obviously, that. Everybody's done that a million times, I believe. So this one fits in accordingly like this. It's just a little clip and that little slide part. So just slide up and out. We do have another one of these little clips right here that Tesla notoriously has. So. This one's a little more difficult, actually. Yeah, let me use two hands to get that one. We'll get that out, and then we gotta remove this part right here and fold back the carpet a little bit, and we can get to where we can plug everything in. Easy stuff, let's do it. All right, took that piece off, and one more clip right here. Just to show how easy it is with this type of uh, tool. Look, see, look, I didn't have to do much. Right out, see? Easy stuff. So I'm gonna to try to do this without unplugging this over here, which that is your emergency speaker. A lot of people don't know that, but if you lose all your speakers or whatever in your car and your autopilot's on or whatever, that's what it'll come through. That's what I've heard at least. Don't mark my word. Let me know in the comments if I'm full of shit, but that's what I've been told is for. By Tesla. Tesla sometimes not informed, but I don't know, let me know. So. We're gonna go ahead and fold this back, and here's where we need to get to. A lot of good stuff back here. So, let me go ahead and sort through this madness, and we'll get it all working. Let me go ahead and sort through this madness, and we'll get it all working. Oh, next pro tip. Right about this time, you probably wanna to go to, um, to safety, scroll down, and power off your vehicle, just for the heck of it. Um, you are unplugging stuff to the computer and whatnot, so uh, probably smart to do. Mine is a little different, because I you'll be plugging in right here with the blue wire that comes with yours accordingly if you have the Ryzen build. Here is the Ryzen build. It has an empty blue slot right there. I have a dongle on mine that has open slots, so I gotta go ahead and take the one from my camera and go ahead, which I mean from my prior screen, and get rid of that. The next is a set of these right here, which this will plug in right here. These were originally plugged in together as such. This just jumps it. So that's how we'll be plugging in. I'll show you again in a second. Just let me get rid of the old wire. All right, so we're all freed up. This would normally be plugged in right there, and that blue spot would be empty. 
Like I said, I have a dongle on mine. These are for my auto presenting doors. I'm gonna use the next one to it for my new wire, which if you don't have a dongle, would plug in right there. So I'm gonna plug this in there. Then you would unplug this and find that plug accordingly and plug it in as such. Is that the right one? That is the right one. Plug it in as such, and then plug this white one into here. Then, as stated, plug your blue wire into either your dongle down here or into the empty blue over here, and you're all set and good to go for the wiring part. So let's do it. For all you older model Intels, this is what you'd use instead of all that, which is, I heard a pain in the ass. I've never dealt with it. So even though I had a 2019 and 2020, 2021 model year, threes and whys, I'd never did anything with them. So I don't know. You'd have to consult another video. I know this plugs in the computer. And it's a really pain to get to, but I would definitely check out another install for Intel models to do this one. So the inside of the car is a total wreck, but we did plug it in and it works perfectly. Shows the doors open nicely, shows the UI of the frunk open. Um, I did take a look and after some executive decision, I'm not gonna install the front camera. And the reason being, I'm gonna show you, that's my plate that comes down. My plate actually sits way down there so putting the the mount would be really weird i'd have to come in from the side kind of over here a little bit and that would just be weird looking because it's kind of at an angle the way it goes around and it would just wouldn't look good so um it probably looked fine but it's just too far over i believe on either side so i'm just gonna not do that and uh you know hope for the best there and not have the camera not really too worried about it could just remove the plate as everyone's going to say in the comments but i live in rhode island and they are nazis for it so i'm going to keep my plate on never had a problem with my front being damaged so let's not start now all right so now that we've confirmed what we're going to do and our course of action we're going to go ahead and route this up through here over retape like we had the other one and have it all nicey nice so we can plug it all in and make it happy let's do it all right so as stated before we went and popped off this fabric piece which is really easy to go ahead and take on and off just push these clips in and then there's a little clip right here that goes over right at the tip of my index finger you just push that over and then we just got to line it up right in here and i also did tape everything with the most professional tape possible masking tape it's going to get dry and brittle and crack and sound like shit probably but you know what we're going to work with it so let's get this buttoned up and see what it all looks like all right so we do got it installed we messed with some settings i'll tell you what it is like the perfect size for in between there definitely 100 percent a perfect size it's definitely a decent looking product um let me go ahead and get everything tightened up see what we look like with it all uh buttoned up and looking good all right so we got the cover on i should say the center console on we got a couple more pieces to put on but just want to take a look over looks pretty good on the camera it almost looks like a purplish though versus the gray but you know what i'm not losing sleep let's see what it's all about
All right, so we're gonna be going through some of the settings here. At the main screen, it is a white Model Y, it looks like. At first, you can change your color of your vehicle to stand out after it loads up, which mine is a gray vehicle, so that's what I have on here. Notice it looks nothing like the gray vehicle here. It's kind of bluish and drowned it out a little bit, but that might bother some, it doesn't really bother me. So, that being said, we put it in gear and we get to a dark UI. As you can see in the stock video here, now that I'm putting up, uh, I say stock as in I made it, but I don't know why I said stock to be honest with you. But in any case, you can see what it looks like when it's going. Looks pretty good, not too bad. You can see the, you know, almost like an autopilot type thing. It's not, it's just a UI feature of the lanes going, which is nice, doesn't show any vehicles or whatnot. That's kind of a downfall, but no big deal. So. To get to the settings, we go into here and press left on the scroll wheel here till it goes into the, to the settings. In the settings, you can see language settings, English, whatnot, time zone settings. I have plus eight UTC, which I live in a plus four or five given the area. So that's kind of off, but it, it works if you figure it out. Um, TCO, Fahrenheit for North America, so our system 24 hours speed limit on i do want to see the speed limit um psi for our tire pressure car model color as stated gray i like the day and night to be set at night the brightness around 70 turn the plaid switch off which the plaid switch makes it so every time you accelerate it does like a plaid thing it's super annoying and very very ugly looking in my opinion that's just me ota upgrade doesn't seem to work and i don't even know how to get to the wi-fi or ts link it says not connected no idea so that's those settings press right on the scroll wheel to get out of that or left i should say on the scroll wheel if you hold right you will enter the mode to pick the ui and you can see them accordingly i was liking this one to begin with but i just thought it was kind of plain this one's all right, still kind of plain. They kind of look like nipples to me. I don't know, not my thing. This one, I don't know, it'll grow on you. So I do like that one. Um, I pressed left to get out of that back into this UI. On the left, you can see it does miles per hour. On the right, it does horsepower. How accurate that is, I don't know. I gunned it and got up to about 400 horsepower in my Model Y performance, which was nice. Uh, don't recommend that but hey it was nice to see uh, it does show the odometer top left it does show uh your lights your brake um pretty much everything that your ui shows over on the regular screen it shows a semi as my house which is nice um also it shows you know your drive mode down at the bottom left the temperature out how much uh range you have left the time at the top right it does show a lot of info right in front of you and it looks perfect through here. It's almost the perfect size. So 5.6 was a little small. This one is perfect. So I do like it. I do recommend. The one thing, another pro tip though, is when you are pressing these left and right and doing your thing in the UI, make sure you look over here. Because next time when you're autopilot, you might be at one, two car, or two car lengths apart, I should say. And you like it at seven because you didn't check back to do back to seven because this it changes it every time you you press and hold no matter what because that's the stock feature so make sure you do press it back and go the next part is the camera if you were to hold this in it'll go to the camera mine doesn't have a signal because i didn't install the camera to get out of it you just press the left again and it'll get out of it so if you have a camera it'll definitely show the front camera wherever you place it front is where it's supposed to be could do a rear camera that'd be pretty cool but hey whatever you do is what you do i didn't end up doing it because of the situation i said with my with my uh, license plate which kind of sucks in my state because they are really strict in rhode island about license plates where i live i've been pulled over numerous times for now my license plate on so it's just not worth it to me never had a bumper problem scrape so why start now so in any case, if you like this video, please hit subscribe, like, share, t t put a thumbs down, tell me you hate me, do whatever you need to do, 
just help the algorithm get me some more views. And if you like this content, again, please share it with your friends and family. As always stated, have a good one. See you in the next video.